tuning in to another episode of Them Bulls. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any updates from my channel. So it is that time of the year where a lot of fans, including myself, start thinking and contemplating on who would be a good addition to this team when it comes to the upcoming draft. So every year ESPN does their mock draft and right now they have us at number four selecting point guard Jay Morant from Murray State. Now I am hoping that the Bulls somehow get a top three pick. It just really irks my soul that Cleveland is going to get another top pick. <sighs> but either way, if we end up in the top five, because you guys know the lottery rules have changed, I still think we're going to have a really good pick because the draft for next year is going to be really stacked. So let's move on to Jay Morant and let's get into how he would probably fit on this Bulls team if the Bulls did decide to get him. So Jay Morant, like I said, is a point guard from Murray State. He's 6'3", 175 pounds and is playing in his sophomore year. Morant has been overlooked and haven't been getting a lot of media attention and I'm pretty sure it's because he's not at a big name school. Morant has been drawing big comparisons to a lot of people in the league including Westbrook, Allen Iverson, and our favorite Derrick Rose. Morant is averaging 23 points per game, 7.4 rebounds, 9.9 .9 assists, and has an assist rate of 54.6% per game. Morant leads the nation in assists and is ranked top 15 nationally in scoring. I know the media focuses a lot on Zion and the rest of the players from Duke, but Morant is the only college player right now putting up those type of numbers and leading his team to big wins over schools like Alabama when he scored 38 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. His athleticism and explosiveness is what separates him from the rest, and he's a great defender also. He's not afraid of contact, and he shows that he can drive to the rim and finish through. Morant does need to work on his turnover rate, and once he gets in the league, I'm pretty sure he will probably put on more weight and bulk up, which would make him an even bigger threat. So my question to you Bulls fans, after hearing all these details about Jay Morant, would you select him if we did get the number four pick? Now, the only problem with having Jay Morant is that he is a point guard, which means that it would be a lot of questions and concerns to how that would go since we already have a point guard like Chris Dunn. And another thing is that we do need a small four, which means that we should be looking at players like Cam Reddish. So I'm kind of leaning towards picking Jay Morant. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Jay Morant and would you be okay if the Bulls did decide to get another point guard? Leave your comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.